Hi guys, uh, just a quick one here on how to load and unload large format film. So if you just went and got yourself a 4x5 camera or uh, God forbid an 8x10 uh, camera, you might be wondering, you know, what do I have to do to get out and shoot some film with this thing? And unfortunately it's not as simple as it is with a 35mm or a medium format camera. Um, loading film with large format is kind of a pain in the butt, but when you do it a few times, you get quick enough at it that, that it's not as huge of a deal as, as it is to start with. So, first and foremost, uh, all of this needs to be done in complete, complete darkness. Um, if there's any light at all, you're going to fog your film, uh, rendering it unusable right off the bat before you even take a picture. So what you're going to need, of course, is a camera. You're going to need some 4x5 or uh, 8x10 film. You're going to need uh, film holders, and you're going to want something to take care of dust. So what I like to do is I do have access to a dark room, but rather than driving there, um, I like to do it in a bathroom. That's where I've done it a couple of times. Any sort of bathroom without a window in it uh, makes for a pretty solid spot to, uh, to load your film holder. So what you're going to do then is get everything set right away. So like I mentioned before in my uh, large format video, these film holders that I have, um, they have two different sides on them. Uh, on the sides of the dark slides here. So there's one side that's white and one side that's black and that's going to indicate whether or not the film has been exposed. So assuming that you're starting out, I use the white side or the silver side to indicate that it hasn't been exposed. So I want to make sure every film holder is on that. I set everything up ahead of time. So I set my film holders, make sure that they are devoid of any dust. Uh, clean them off pretty thoroughly because dust will show up and damage your images. So get everything set. Now, this film has been fried, so I'm gonna take it out here. But when you get your box of film, you're gonna see that it is, it'll be sealed, and it's a box inside of a box. And then there'll be 10 or 20 uh, images here in a bag, uh, or uh, sheets of film in a bag. So what you're gonna do, in complete darkness, you're gonna open this up, and you're gonna take out your first sheet of film. Now you're not going to be able to see, of course, but you're going to feel along the edges and there's a notch right there. And, and you're going to want that notch in the upper right hand side. That means you are holding the film correctly. So when the film, or when you're holding the film with the notch in the upper right hand side, so this is going to be the side that you expose, as you can see by the fact that it's destroyed. You're going to take your film holder and on the bottom you've got these little flaps here. There are two grooves. One is for the dark slide to slide in and then the one that's farther in is for the film. So you're going to take the film, holding it like this in the darkness, flip the little flipper guy up, push it all the way in, and then just slide it into the groove. When it's in correctly, it won't come back out easily because there's a little lip there that's going to stop it from sliding out. So that means it's in there right. You're going to lock it in, turn this little key to hold it in place, and that side's loaded. You would then do it with the other side as well, so notch on the upper right hand side, slide it in, lock it in place, boom. So there you go, That's this is now loaded and ready to use. Of course, it's a little bit harder in, in total darkness. Um, that's why for me it's really important to set everything up so I know exactly where everything is while I'm doing it in the dark, so to speak. And then you're going to reassemble your little box, hopefully they're in there. Now when I'm done, I of course when I shoot the film in the field, I flip this bad boy around so that so that the black sides of the dark slide are out. So I would go get everything set in the bathroom, dark room, changing bag, whatever. Get my box ready, so to speak, and uh this helps if you have fingernails, but you would just then slide it out. And what I do is I just take the film, put it back in the box from whence it came, um, tape this up, throw it in a little uh, bubble wrap bag from, uh, from the US Postal Service and mail it out. Um, or, you know, like I did when I was in Phoenix, just bring it into the store in one of these. They will take it, they will develop it for you. 
and uh, then you'll get it back. And of course, once it's developed, it you no longer need to to fear the light <laughs> as you do. But uh, yeah, that's it. I mean, it seems simple. Um, I don't think I left anything out. The key with this to making it work smoothly, to me at least, is to just make sure that you have everything prepared ahead of time so that nothing comes up, so that you're not, you know, fumbling around in the darkness trying to figure out where you put something or wondering if everything is, you know, back where it needs to be before you shut, turn those lights back on. Because the moment you turn the light on is always, it's always a little bit nerve wracking because you're always afraid that you had you know, forgotten something or messed something up and you were gonna fry some film. But but that's all there is to that. Um, if you have any questions about that, uh, again, as always, uh, like, subscribe, comment. Uh, I love it, I appreciate it. I did just start a, um, a new Tumblr account that's, I'm just putting film photos on that I've taken. Uh, nothing spectacular, but I'll, I'll link to it on the bottom if you're at all interested in seeing some stuff I've done with the 4x5 and um, <clears throat> medium format and, and some 35 uh, millimeter. I'm currently looking at uh, upgrading too to a, to a newer uh, medium format camera. Um, possibly uh, Mamiya 645, M645, or you know, for a little bit smaller negative or, or possibly a Pentax 6.7. I um, haven't decided yet. It really, there's just, there's two lenses that, that have my, you know, attention. Pentax has, actually has two lenses that, that are really interesting. And Mamiya's got the, uh, the uh, 80 millimeter uh, 1.9 that I'm all about. Pentax has the 165 and the 105 um, that both look great. But um, when I do pull the trigger, um, I, it'll, you'll be the first to know about it besides people that I tell in real life. <laughs> you'll be the first on YouTube to know. So um, have a, a real good weekend. Uh, I'm going to go see American Sniper tonight. <laughs> see ya.